This is a spoiler-free look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. So the movie has this really cool 3D hand-drawn art style with lots of squiggly lines all over everything. From the turtles to the cityscapes in the background, it looks like they just told the artist just squiggle all over everything. We need more squiggles! Dude, I just, I had fun with this movie. I love the Ninja Turtles. I absolutely love the Ninja Turtles. And Michelangelo, he's always been my favorite. He's the funny guy. But in this iteration, each turtle is unique, and I had a hard time picking a favorite, honestly. Raphael really stood out to me in this one. People will likely compare the animation style to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, but this film does enough to set itself apart and create its own unique style. There is a really cool darker toned scene at the beginning of the movie with kind of edgier looking turtles that I think is a little bit of a tribute to the original creators, Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman. So the basic story of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a mutant named Superfly played by Ice Cube wants to eradicate all the humans and turn all of the animals into mutants. The Ninja Turtles are tasked with stopping Superfly. So this movie leans hard into the teenage aspect of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They wanna go to high school, they wanna be accepted by others, they wanna have girlfriends. The Turtles are cast by a much younger cast this go around, including April O'Neil, who is actually super nervous in front of the camera. She's a quirky high schooler who doesn't quite fit in and is given the moniker April O'Puke. I wasn't really sure I was going to like the younger cast of characters, but they did a really good job and I just had fun. I felt like I was a kid again. So something I loved about this iteration is that the turtles aren't totally adept with their ninja skills yet. They spend much of the film stumbling their way through obstacles. I like the fact that they're not fully leveled up. They're teenagers, they're figuring out the world, and they have to work together to solve a lot of the issues that the film presents. I grew up on the 1990s live action Ninja Turtles, the original 1990 and The Secret of the Ooze. The third one was Total Trash. So we don't talk about that one. I remember my excitement around the film when it was coming out and telling my mama wanted to see it. She said, we're gonna have to find out where it's playing, Andrew. And I saw a trailer. I ran into her bedroom and I said, mom, mom, I know where it's playing at a theater near you. I was about five years old and that was a great memory of the Ninja Turtles with my mom. It still holds up as one of my favorite films today. It's probably not one of the greatest films, but it had such a monumental impact on me as a child. My hope is that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem has the same impact on kids these days as the original live action films had on me as a child. So this version of the Ninja Turtles is a straight up PG version that is great for the entire family. There's nothing that's scary, overly violent, or inappropriate. One of the standouts of this film is its well-rounded soundtrack. There's loads of old school 80s and 90s hip hop tracks. Oh baby, I like it. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. So cringe, now I know why you're called Lonely Guy. So the movie is quite funny. I mean, it was written by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, who wrote Mitchell's vs. Machines, which is one of the funniest animated films I've ever seen. There are some funny recurring bits, particularly about milking something, but also some Easter eggs for longtime turtle fans. There's also a blink and you'll miss it reference to Secret of the Ooze that you will either love or hate, depending upon how vanilla you are. Dude, talk about product placement. All I wanted was a pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut when I left the theater. But yeah, this is definitely a newer generation of Ninja Turtles. I don't think I heard a single dude or cowabunga throughout the entire film. And I may have to rewatch it, but I was slightly disappointed that none of the turtles rode their skateboards in the sewer. That's an iconic turtle move. More cringe, you must be a shill for Paramount. I can't help myself. Mutant Mayhem has a good message for parents to not be overprotecting and overbearing with their children, even when you know you are right. Guilty as charged. Sometimes kids have to make their own mistakes and learn from them. Mutant Mayhem also deals with the struggles of being a teenager and wanting to be liked and just simply wanting to fit in. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem clocks in at 1 hour and 39 minutes and I think it's perfectly paced. There were no lulls or boring moments in my opinion. Be sure to stick around for the mid credit scene as it has major implications for a follow up sequel. You'll only have to wait about 30 seconds through credits. Again, no spoilers, but the end credit scene got me pretty hyped. Also, if you're a Ninja Turtles fan and want to extend the adventure, The Last Ronin is one of the most interesting Ninja Turtle stories I have ever consumed. The art style in it is absolutely incredible. It's a much darker dive into Ninja Turtle lore, but it's an incredible story that delves into grief, loss, and redemption. It's kind of like Ninja Turtles for grown-ups. No affiliate marketing stuff here, just look it up on Amazon and buy it. 
you'll thank me later. The hardcover is basically the first five issues and tells a complete story. So who is this movie for? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is for anyone who grew up on the Ninja Turtles, whether it's the video games, the cartoon, or the live action films of the early 90s. This movie is just fun. It's a great PG movie for the entire family to enjoy. Avid readers of the TMNT comics might be mixed on this movie. If you are looking for dark and gritty turtles, this ain't it, but you could likely tell that from the trailer. If that's you, go enjoy reading something like The Last Ronin. At the end of the day, this is a really good Ninja Turtles film and just a good film in general. They didn't do the turtles dirty this time. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to subscribe, check out my latest video here, and I will catch you in the next one.